All right, let's have some tea. Let's at least enjoy yes. ourselves. It's a very sad day yeah. today here in, in, in the world. Let's have some tea. We have some tea. Hopefully, we can we can at least enjoy a li have a little enjoyment. Thank you, a little enjoyment, J. Rod. So we have to just be miserable about all that's going on in the world. <laughs> this could help a little bit. <laughs> Thank you. It's lavender berry. Lavender berry. Ooh, lavender berry. Oh, that's interesting. I've never had. Have you ever had? Ooh, Ooh it looks. It's a pretty by the way, color. for those who can't see, which you can't see. It's very it's like purple. Pretty, yeah. It's purple. Purple like tea. Like a deep. It smells very nice. Really? Where did you? Where did? Who decided on lavender Ooh, berry? Oh, good. A team collaboration. A team collaboration. Yeah. I, Jonathan, have you ever had lavender no. berry? No. Never in my life. Cheers. Cheers. And cheers to the squad. Even on the worst days, uh, remember. Okay, day above ground is still, it's a, good still day. a good day. Yes. And we will survive, and we will fight, and we'll have better days tomorrow. And when you can take time to enjoy life, do it. Yes, yes. Do it, seriously. I say that okay. every time, the older I get. Yeah. And Jonathan, let's enjoy some tea and enjoy life. Yes, let's enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Cold tea. It's cold tea, right. Cold tea. This is, is it supposed to be cold? I don't think so. That's why my sugar isn't melting. <laughs> Jay Rhymes! <laughs> Jay Rhymes! Jay Rhymes giving us cold tea here, man! <laughs> well, I don't like cold tea, Jonathan. Yeah. All right, but we'll we'll enjoy tea maybe next Tuesday. A little warmer. It's, a, yeah. it's good tea, though. It's good tea. It's but, good tea. uh, you know what I have to say? Ah, uh, <laughs> Jilly is probably back there <laughs> shaking her head. <laughs> it was warm, baby! <laughs> No, 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 it's no, no, okay, no, no, no. Jelly. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh, she got so insulted over her tea. <laughs> no, this is good. It's, good. it's very good, though. Very good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what we got for tea? All guys? right, cut the music. <laughs> cut the music. All right. So uh, the uh, time. Uh, magazine released their annual top 100 list. Yeah, yes, I saw. Okay, which honors the most influential people of the year. Of course, Oprah. Of course. She's still. I'm sure she's, she's like every time. year. She's she hasn't even had her show for how many years? I mean, now? but she's been interviewing. She's a interviewing lot of a lot of people. people. Um, she is one of the top 100 most influential people in the world. Michelle Obama wrote something about her. Uh, Oprah has always had the uncanny ability to open us up, to hear beyond our words, and to uncover a higher truth, to be vulnerable with us in a way that allows yes. us to be vulnerable back. I'll tell and you Michelle. something. Michelle. Look at Michelle. Oprah runs for president. She wins. I would think so, right? She wins hands down. Because she's got everybody on you her think, side. You think Oprah doesn't run for president? She's not the president that of the United States of America? crazy. I think Oprah should run. I don't think she wants to. Though. I don't know her, but I want to get somebody to tell her to run. Wow. She would win. That would be It wouldn't insane. even be it wouldn't even be a close call. I don't yeah. You I, know, can you imagine Oprah versus Donald Trump? What would Donald oh, Trump say please. to insult Oprah Winfrey? Right. right. <laughs> what would he possibly say that you could you that can't would insult be this woman? Wild. Right? You would vote for Oprah? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't even know I don't even I can assume what she stands for. Right. Would you vote for Oprah? Yeah, over Donald Trump? Yeah. For sure. Who would you not vote for Oprah over? Can you imagine who could run for president that you would that you would vote for? Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama versus Oprah Winfrey? Yeah, I would definitely do Michelle Obama. You would do Michelle Absolutely. over Oprah? Yeah. That would be a tough call for me. Yeah. I, I don't know how that would even happen. Oprah versus <laughs> that Michelle. That would be crazy. How would Oprah <laughs> versus Michelle even happen? <laughs> <laughs> Might as well, guys. Look, <laughs> at this point. I mean, I mean, we're all so freaking crazy. Can you imagine they're debating and insulting each other? I mean, you can. <laughs> it's like, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Who who would, is, is there anybody in the world that you would vote for over Michelle Obama? That Anybody, anybody that you could think of that you would vote for ahead of Michelle Obama? Nah, unless it's like a new candidate that comes. That, that you like don't just, know about. Yeah, that I don't know about. But. but anybody famous. Because now it's just famous people running for president. <laughs> right. Right. You got right. to be famous to run for president now. <laughs> Who would you vote for? No, no, nobody famous. Right. If Nelson Mandela came back 
For the United States. See, United, he all of a sudden became a U.S. citizen. He's dead, but he's come, come back. Michelle Obama versus Nelson Mandela. Who would you vote Nelson for? Nelson Mandela. I think I would vote for Nelson Mandela, <laughs> yeah. too. I'm trying to think who would I vote for. Yeah. Both, you know? Yeah. Uh, Mila Kunis, she was also, I would not vote for her for president. No. Over no, Oprah no. or Michelle, but to she have also Ashton Kutcher as, yeah, as the first, the, uh, as the first, first uh, man, the first man. That'd be awful. <laughs> you, you know, when you say, "Oh my God, I'm going to move to Canada," you really <laughs> yeah. have to move to Canada. Um, she was also top 100. Uh, oh, by the way, Jessica Limi says Michelle for president, Oprah the VP. Woo! That would be some ticket power too. Powerhouse. That would be a powerhouse yeah, too. I like that one. Yeah. Um, uh, Mila Kunis, uh, she won also for her efforts in raising money for that the Ukraine. Good. And she did. Uh, like she raised thirty-six, 36 and a half million, million dollars mm -hmm. in the GoFundMe, um, and she was even thanked uh, by Ukraine President uh, Volodymyr Zelensky. Uh, so that was nice as well. You know who also is top one hundred? Uh, yeah, Chris, Chris Jenner. Jenner. I, you know what? She deserves it. She deserves it. She, she des created she, an empire. She she deserves top one hundred yeah. for sure. Anybody who can right. tell their daughter to promote their like sex tape. No, come on. Listen, <laughs> and that's basically but what that, it was but her. That was from 15, 20 years ago. But that's where it starts. But, but that's is, what I'm this saying. Is, but this is that's how the empire started. I feel yeah. like that. Like you have, like, we got it. We got to talk about it. If that's what happened, that's what happened. And for someone to do that and like build an empire for the entire family, she has daughters that are billionaires that's wild like she deserves it yeah well well i guess you know kim took it kim took it for the whole team right she did no right? seriously yeah, she took it for the whole team they weren't anything right. until that i guess you're right <laughs> well ryan seacrest well i, I don't get um, ryan seacrest by the way he's like the king of no personality he's all over the place he's one of those lucky guys that yeah. just got through <laughs> yeah i mean you have more personality in your, yeah. in your picky yeah than he has i agree he, it's true uh, he wrote. By the way, I don't think anything about any of these people wrote. I think a publicist wrote all of this. <laughs> but a court, but Ryan Seacrest publicist wrote that he signed his name to. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> about Chris Jenner as the stabilizing core of an empire, she continually navigates the unexpected challenges of life and business with empathy, transparency, and endurance. And I've never seen Abbott Elementary. Have you watched the oh, show? Oh, it's... Wait, you haven't? No. I need you to watch it. Yeah. It's really uh, good. The creator and, and star Quinta Brunson, she was also top 100. And she's... Cut, she What is the show it. about? I mean, I've heard of Quinta. I've heard of the show, she, but I don't... I didn't really so pay attention of what it, what it is. Well, I'll, let me talk about Quinta first. Yeah. Quinta came out as, like, one of these... Like, she was doing videos, um, like, funny skits. Like and and they would just go viral and this is when viral had just started that whole viral moment right. had just started so from there she has built her career up to creating this show and this show is about um, a school a elementary school in Philadelphia so it's in a low income neighborhood they don't really have funding um, so <laughs> each character especially the principal and all of them they are characters terrorists, yeah you know and it's stuff that like people actually and go she through and stars she, in it. yeah she created this right. and it's breaking records yeah. for uh, ABC and, and by the so. way LeBron James wrote I don't know yeah. if LeBron James wrote or LeBron James publicist PR, wrote. Right. <laughs> uh, but, that, but he wrote. Yeah. He wrote about uh, Quinta Brunson uh, saying she's a master of her craft, a game changer in network television, lauding her ability to elevate everyone around her. Mm -hmm. uh, and he says, because it's all about opening doors, That's breaking it. down barriers, and doing it with love, kindness, and compassion while still being an absolute boss like QB. Please watch it and, and let me know what you think. Watch a I couple will. episodes. I will. I will. It's on Hulu. Yeah, yeah, I have Hulu. Yeah. Okay. Watch it. it. That's going to be your, your I've got, yeah. I've got all these services that I never watch and, anything. And listen, you're going to be sick this weekend. So, yeah, so, so I might as well. I, I'll binge watch it. Yeah, right? no, seriously. Right. I, I will, think you, I, I think will. you'll like it. Yeah, I, yeah, I like funny stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll definitely and watch it. It, it kind of gives you like the office vibe right. too, because like they oh, look yeah? at they look in the camera and right. stuff. Oh, it's oh like, yeah, so it's like almost like a documentary. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and that's thing, exactly right. what it is. Right, right. It's so funny. All right, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, uh, talking about viral videos, Halsey, she's venting her. Oh yeah. She's venting her frustrations <laughs> at her label because she wants to release this song, the song called "Song I Love." Uh, and that's the name of the song, but the but the the label will not let her release it until she gets a viral video on TikTok. That's yeah. Wow. Yeah, she says basically I have a song that I love that I want to release ASAP, but my record won't let my record label won't let me do it. 
I've been in this industry for eight years. I've sold over 165 million records, and my record company is saying I can't release the song unless they can fake a viral moment on TikTok. Wow. And and now that seems to be the new thing, you know. Because um, honestly, TikTok kid, is kid was it Kid Leroy mm-hmm. and Scooter Braun. They had this. They made up a viral moment, mm-hmm. um, and they started a fake feud uh, to promote Thousand Miles. That's so annoying. Yeah. Like this whole. Ugh. I think we should have a fight to promote TikTok. We can do that. What can we do? You want me to? Will you allow me well, to throw? We're not, would we're you, not, we're not would supposed you, to tell them. Oh, would you? Well, they're not telling anybody. <laughs> would you allow me to like throw the tea in your face? This cold one. This cold one. Sure. <laughs> For a viral moment. Are you going to punch me? Yeah. <laughs> Get extra wait, viral. Wait a second. I don't want to get punched. Well, that, that was about, the surprise. Wait, wait, how about I'd rather you throw the tea in my face and I punch you? Oh, no. Not this face. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. All right. We got to well, work, yeah, we we gotta work, work this on one out. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to get punched. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> Or we can have, like, you know, uh, a boxing can, match. Can you imagine, like, can you imagine, like, how he's like, all right, I throw the tea in your face. Like, you're not going to punch me for real. Oh, yeah, damn yeah, right. right. Damn right, damn I'm going right. to punch you. I don't get punched. <laughs> yeah, but this, it, you Yeah, know, so Halsey, I'm, she's got to come up with a viral moment. Well, this is her viral moment. This video just went viral. Oh, you because, know? because she said that yeah. they won't. Uh, yeah, I oh, mean, we're it? talking about it. It's on, it's. How many, it's, how many views now? I don't know, but, like, it, there's so many different, like, sites that have yeah. been talking about it, a lot of media outlets so right. i mean i just hate i hate this whole <laughs> <Boom! myself>. right <laughs> i just yeah i just hate the whole social media right. and like this whole genre of um you know just faking stuff there's so many fake beefs out there yeah. there's so many just like you don't know what to trust like we yeah. were already getting you know lies from the news now we're getting lies, lies from, from the, from the, it, from you the know, celebrities for like, no reason it's come on just look. i hate you it. know what Who's real? Who do you think is real? Cardi B. Cardi B is real. That's why. That's why they like uh-huh. her so much. Right. She's real. Yeah. She's not making anything. No. Up, right. No. She don't make stuff up. Like she gives you the raw, and that's why I respect her. Who that's else is a, real? You think? Who else is real? Who else is real? Like in I, I Kanye. Think. He's real. Kanye. I think Kanye is real. Kanye is real. After I, I watching think, his I think documentary, he, I, think, I think he's off the wall. But also. Also, I mean, I mean, literally, he's. I think he has mental issues, but he, I think he's he real. does have mental issues. Yeah. But he's he's real, but like he also plays a persona, though. Right. And he admitted that in um, in his documentary, right. he said that you know he he had this documentary going since the '90s, and like in the early 2000s, the guy who was shooting it was like, "Hey, you ready to?" He was like, "No, no, 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 I can't let them see the real, real Kanye," right. because he was like very intimate with his mother sure. and you know loving, and he was like, "Nah, they got to see the." The asshole, the crazy, right, right, right. you know. So he's he kind of real. He he real enough to like tell you mm-hmm. how he feels. Okay, but he still puts on a persona. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, did you see? You know, Eurovision is like the biggest thing in Europe. Oh, uh, well, I don't, don't know what like, that is. Okay, is. Eurovision. It's like the song contest where every country has a song, mm-hmm. and they compete. Different groups compete, and it's oh. like kind of like um, the Olympics of amateur of amateur songwriters and performers. Oh, okay. Kind of like an American Idol, but instead mm-hmm. of people coming, it's every country is represented, mm. and then you get voted off and or voted on, you know, by, by public sentiment. Well, in this, this is the 66th uh, year of Euro, Euro oh, Vision, wow. and it was held on May 14th in Italy, and Ukraine, Ukraine won. Oh. Yes, uh, uh, the group was called mm. Stefania, by Kalush Orchestra. Oh, the song was called Stefania, and the group is Kalush Orchestra. And uh, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky welcomed the victory, Ukraine's third since its 2003 Eurovision debut, and said, we will do our best to one day host the contest in the port city of Maripol. And he underlined Ukrainian Maripol, free, peaceful, rebuilt. And uh, Maripol obviously has fallen into Russian hands and is absolutely destroyed right now. And the winning song, which mixes rap with elements of Ukrainian folk music, was originally written in honor of the group's mothers, and the groups have subsequently rededicated it to all the matriarchs in Ukraine as lines such as, I'll, fi- I'll always find my way home, even if all roads are destroyed. Uh, the sick... And I'm sorry, oh, we, we got music? some music. Yeah. Let's hear it. <laughs> 
Yeah, and before the, before the event, um, Sam Ryder's entry for the UK Spaceman led at the halfway point. That one? No, that was Ukraine. That was, that the, was the winner, yeah. Mm. Uh, and having won the jury vote from around Europe with 283 points, but after the points from the public vote were added, UK came in second and, um, and the <laughs> Ukraine came in first. Well, maybe if you understood Ukrainian. Sir. <laughs>